Yeah, subhanAllah, very common question and an excellent one for Muslim community we struggle with that. I mean, non-Muslims, they can easily cut ties with their parents and subhanAllah, how to make sure that you as assert your boundaries and have healthy boundaries so you can take care of your own needs at the same time, don't neglect your parents, especially if they're getting a little older. Because uh, the older they get, the most likely more soft they become. And you notice they are becoming more gentle with your younger siblings or with your own children than with you. And you say, oh, is this the same parent that uh, was very harsh with me? And subhanAllah, yani, uh, if, uh, if it's not severe damage, um, try your best to find room for forgiveness. And as, as I said, forgiveness most of the time is for you. It's to take away the heavy burden of trauma from your shoulders. It's very heavy to carry that burden every, every single day. It's going to affect you in every way. It's going to affect your immune system, your body, your mind, your heart, your soul. At the same time, I, I hope, like this father, even though he did it maybe for quote-unquote selfish reasons because he was meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he reached out, he said, I'm ready for forgiveness and making amends. And she was not ready, which is okay. We don't force people who are not ready to share their trauma story. So uh, if they are ready, if they reach out, try your best to, um, you know, it's not necessarily ego if you are severely wounded, but some of us, we actually cut ties out of very silly things. I ask brothers and sisters, uh, when was the last time you spoke with a sibling or a cousin? They say, oh, it has been three years. We just grew distant. That doesn't work in the Muslim community. We have, alhamdulillah, uh, you know, Salat al-Raham, we are encouraged to be very close to our parents. So try your best to take care of all of your needs so you can establish a little bit of healthy boundaries because if you are running through burnout, if you are not taking care of you, anything will take you off. So take care of yourself and your small family as much as you can. At least keep some kind of connection. Rasulullah said that you cannot abandon your brother or sister. This is an Islam. So imagine your own parents more than three days. He said, خَيْرُهُمَ الَّذِي يَبْدَعُ بِالسَّلَامِ Then the best of you, who, the one who says salam first. At least keep the very bare minimum. And there should be some kind of relationship, even if they have stabbed you multiple times. Because most of their uh, stab wounds, they uh, were for your own protection. They, they wanted to do what's best for you. But maybe this is the best they could have done, given their circumstances. Many of our parents say, come from different culture backgrounds and they are very confused, they are very scared. There is very common uh, say in the refugee community that first generation loses their language. And we see it very common because children, they go to high schools and public schools and learn the English language very quickly. And that will shift f the power dynamics within the family. And second generation, they will lose their culture. And we see that, you know, children might be questioning their Eid and Ramadan and they rather go to birthday parties and Christmas. And, and then the third generation might lose their religion. And this is what the immigrants are very scared of, especially the Muslim community. We always say, Ya Rabbi, I just want to meet you with my children, still Muslims. And you think even about their children, if they become Kafir, uh, am I going to be blamed for it? And so... You cannot control all of these circumstances. Allah said, Alaykum anfusakum, take care of your small family and do your best in the here and now. And the outcome is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Nuh did everything he can and his son did not believe in him. But uh, hopefully, I mean, it was a long way of answering your question that uh, take care of yourself and if there is room for forgiveness, maybe they are too looking for that forgiveness. Yes, yeah, subhanAllah. That phone call or that... Uh, intimate one-to-one -one conversation, they might be looking for healing more than you do.